We got a winter wonderland, smoke coming out of the stovepipe. We're doing some hot tent camping, y'all. What's up guys? Welcome to the middle of the woods. We are here in Minnesota on a cold winter's day that's only going to get cold. But that's okay, because we've got our bell tent here equipped with a wood-burning stove that will keep us nice and toasty throughout the night. But let's start from the beginning, guys. Go back to my house, pack up our gear, and start this adventure. Welcome to the gear garage, you guys. I have got tools and toys for any kind of adventure imaginable, but I've managed to pack down what usually is a lot of gear onto these two sleds and of course our duffel. So I guess there's no time like the present. Let's load this stuff up in the car and get to the woods and start our camp. We got all of the gear unloaded here. Now the thing that's gonna make this kind of challenging is even though I have these on sleds, we're going down a pretty steep hill here. So I'm hoping that these things don't just take off on me. All right, that feels good. Uh oh, we already got a tip. All right, now let's see how this sled does. Whoa! Look at that buck. Do you see that? Man, that's a beautiful animal. We're in the woods now. It's not going too bad. As you can see, I can kind of baby the sled. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Ooh, that almost tipped on me there. Sled's doing just fine. I'm able to just kind of baby it. We're almost down at the bottom of the hill. Oh, <laughs> maybe just take one sled at a time, especially since we're not going that far. Whew. All right, this is it. This is gonna be our spot. So I'm just gonna make sure that there's nothing big protruding out of the ground here. So far, so good. Looks like, okay. Looks like we got a log right here. So we've got this whole area here to work with, which should be enough for my 13 foot bell tent. I wish it was a little more level, but you do what you gotta do. Just like that, our tent is basically set up. We just have to tighten down these lines a little bit. And it's actually one of my favorite things about these white duck tents. They have these buckles right here. They're able to grab, you just kind of grab onto it, pull it, and it tightens it. Now that this thing is up, it's time for the second most important part of this whole setup process. We gotta get our stove set up and get a fire going down our ooh, we got two rugs in here look at that see that's that's how i roll okay. so there's a lot of ways to heat a tent like this one of them is certainly a propane heater uh, but i really like a wood burning stove it's just really really cool to be able to go out tent camping and have a fire all right guys now that we got the tent set up and the stove put up time to go get some firewood. This tool right here is one of my favorite new additions to my gear. This thing is a battery operated chainsaw. It makes going out and cutting up brush and other things so so easy but also it helps you cut down wood to fit into a little camp stove like that because a lot of times even firewood you buy at the store is going to be too large to fit inside that thing. So we're gonna take this puppy out and go get us some firewood. And make sure this place is nice and warm.
And just like that, we're all set up. I want to show you guys exactly what I've got going on here. This is one of the best things that I ever picked up for my glamping setup. I've got a full couch to lie down on, to sit and hang out. I've got my single cot here. This thing keeps me off of the ground. It's nice and comfy. On top of it, my Sub-Zero sleeping bag. This thing is good down to negative 20 degrees. Next, our side tables. They pack down super small and give you a space to set things or you can, you know, prepare your food on this bad boy. And then last but not least, we've got our solar generator here. This thing is great because you can either charge it via solar panels or charge it at home. And it is what is powering our lights here. And did I mention that these are on a remote control? It's hard for me to believe that all of this stuff fit on those two sleds and in that duffel bag, right? I mean, look at what we were able to set up. Oh man, it's officially snowing. Look at this, we've already got some accumulation on top of the tent. I had no idea that it had begun to snow. Wow. You know, when I left Minnesota, I did so because I thought I could not stand winter anymore. And after spending 10 years in California, I have such a deeper appreciation for this. And that's why being able to come out and experience it like this in comfort and warmth is such a treat because we're able to put ourselves right in the heart of nature. That right there is a hearty meal. Mm. I'm telling you, there's something about cooking food over a wood stove. It just makes the food extra tasty. Today was a really, really good day. So beautiful out, ending it with that snow was just perfect. But I think because it's so cold, I'm gonna get some shut eye. But I'll uh, see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. Very thankful that I kept some water in my sleeping bag to make coffee. <laughs> All right, here's another little tip for you guys. These uh, propane tanks don't really do so well in the cold. Um, so what I've learned is if you heat them up a little bit with your hands, it will actually speed up the process and get that flame going a little bit. So watch what happens when I kind of cut my hand around the tank. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be careful though, cause it's, it's really, really cold on your hands. Do you hear the woodpecker? He is up at it early. Super cool. Woo! It is beautiful out here. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
All right, guys, that is gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did and maybe learned a few things too. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have plenty more videos coming out for you as well. And uh, see you next time. <laughs> Stay warm.